Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today I'm going to take a look at a product called Contacted. It's a library maker for Native Instruments Contact, so see you in a minute. Welcome back. Right, today, uh, slightly different, what we're going to do today is we are going to create a custom contact library artwork. And so if you're anything like me, you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff that you've got for contact that can't be displayed here. Now that's always been a pain in the butt for me. And I'm like, I just need to get that sorted. Now I have tried many others before and without, with some mixed success, but uh, the guys over at Contacted have sent me a copy today. Thank you very much for that, Daz. I'm much appreciated. Okay, so that product is called Contacted. Uh, we are on version 4.5 uh, and I'm going to show you in a second how to use it. But before I do that, I am going to say a prerequisite of this is you're going to need to have some sort of uh, photo editing software. I am using uh, Photoshop uh, and what I've actually done is created the template. Now, if you have a look at this template, the pixel width is 633 by 98. So that means it's 633 pixels this way and 98 pixels that way. And as you can see here, I've created a zone. Now, ideally, this zone that you can see here is literally for one purpose and one purpose only. And it is so that when we collapse our contact version six, as you can see, these names appear here and when we stretch it out a tiny bit more you can see so what I want to do is the, the almost the hot area this area here I want it to remain here <clears throat> uh, so that's why I've created that zone so that when I make the artwork the names should roughly be here the, the important bits should roughly be here so that's what I've created this uh, so just if you make if you make yourself a template this and, and you have guidelines I, I suggest that you put them there so that if you want to have it all uniformed in that way okay so uh, once you create your artwork and you save it to your desktop I've saved it here it's called strum and it is a PNG all you're going to do is you're going to launch contact once you've launched contact you're just going to hit the continue button and we are going to do a few things first things we'll do we'll grab the name and we'll paste it in here so I've just already grabbed the name so what I can do it's called it's called acoustic strum so what I'll do I'll cut that off there and I will put that there forget about this number we don't need to do anything with the number we just need this bit here uh, then what we're going to do is drag that image that we created and dump it here the effects box will pop up we're not going to be worried about that because what you can do is change it to grayscale invert sharpen blah 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 uh, but if you wanted to you could just do that in your um, photo editing software so you don't need to do it here so we'll get rid of that uh, we're not going to shrink to fit or no I know it doesn't look like it fits but I've tried this before and it does fit so we're not going to do the shrinks of fit. From here, all we now have to do is click save the NICNT file uh, and the wallpaper. Now, remember, we saved our this uh, PNG file to the desktop and it's called Strum PNG. Call it whatever you want. Uh, but when we, when, we, when we hit this save file, it's going to create another file and that's the file that you're going to need. So you're going to need two things. You're going to need this one here, which is the NICNT file, and you're going to need the one that says wallpaper. Now, once you've done that, just locate the file that you want to update. And in this case, it's this. So let's get rid of that for a second. It is this one here. This is the one I'm trying to create the uh, the artwork for. So once you find the folder that that lives in, just literally just drag and drop. So remember, we're going to drag the one that says wallpaper in there, and we're going to drag the one which is the NICNT file in there. And the next part is a little bit more complicated because you're going to need to use something else. Now, bearing in mind, we cannot uh, add files to Contact 5. So you're going to need to do that adding bit in a lower version now I generally use uh, sorry I'm using contact 6 and you cannot do that in contact 6 you're gonna have to do it in contact 5 uh, so what you do is if you if you have if you want to pause at this minute go to uh, native instruments download a legacy product and download the version 5 I'll give you time to do that and go off and do that now just pause it and come back but once you have that you're going to use version 5 to load this in so we'll pause here we'll get version 5 we'll load it in then we'll be back in a second once it's loaded in okay so uh, hopefully you've gone off and you've downloaded the version 5 of contact from the native infant website what you're going to have to do next is if you still got your version 6 
6 open. If you just give that a close, so just close version 6, uh, and then what you want to do is reopen version 6 because it has to be closed uh, to register the product. So hopefully, uh, fingers crossed when we do this and it fires up, we should find, there we, there, there we, there we, there we are. That's great. Okay, so um, there we have it. Uh, you remember what I said about the spacing? So that's where it should be. Uh, if we, there we go. And we grab that out, drop that in there. And essentially that is it. That is all you have to do. So that is how you use this um, Contacted 4. Uh, Contacted 4 is available on PC and it's also available on Mac and, and they have updated it recently so you can go and check that out. I will leave all the links in the description as to what you can find and where you can find it. Hopefully this has been useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, uh, you can hit me up uh, uh, on the, in the normal way. But if you also have any technical questions, you can also go to to the contacted website and you can look at you can ask their support team as well hopefully that's useful see you again soon take care for now bye bye